Carl Norris around here reporting live from Unified MMA 7, Edmonton, Alberta. Um, I'm sitting with, uh, with a good friend. Um, I'm looking at uh, I'm looking at a couple things in my head, trying to trying to decide where what avenue we're going to take. But uh, Ari, why don't you uh, why don't you come ahead and uh, tell me a little bit about what you think, uh, what direction you're actually going to take Hard Knocks in, and, and what uh, what things you want to do differently, maybe um, from the last card to this card, and, and maybe some of the things that you'd like to do the same. Sure. Well, I, I think uh, Hard Knocks has always been about uh, grassroots participation in the sport and and get an amateur's experience. And, and I think what we've seen is that um, since the last two years, we've now got guys that are you know, three fights, four fights. Yep. I think we've got a guy coming off five fights uh, in Hard Knocks, and the level of experience is, is going up, and, and guys are getting used to being engaged and getting more experience. And I think last event, um, one of our amateur fights was at least as good as the pro fights, and I think that's a really cool thing. I think that uh, the amateurs are going to get really, really good, and we're going to have a great launching pad for pros. And, and I think it's going to be the new generation of pros that are going to be the ones that are going to go to the next level. Absolutely. We're starting to see the development of the fighters, yeah. and with, with, with the amateur rules um, in Alberta, I know uh, in Calgary specifically, Commission's been giving you some kind of problems. Um, they're not so adamant about allowing the sport into Calgary, and uh, I think it's a great route and a great avenue for these amateurs to be able to go out and gain some experience before they have to make that jump to the pro level. Um, what uh, What do you think now is the next step for for Hard Knocks? Now that you guys have established yourself, you, you put on. Uh, 11 events now successfully? Next one's 11. 11 is, is yeah. coming up with the 25th, so yeah. um, what are you going to try and do to try and separate yourself from the rest of these guys that are popping up all over? I mean, now that MMA has been legalized and sanctioned in Ontario, there's a lot of promoters that are, it seems like everybody's trying to move out east. Are you going to stay out here? Or are you looking at moving down south? Or are you going to try and maintain your, your status in Calgary? What, what are you trying to look at for the future of our dogs? You've touched on so many things. I, let me first talk about the amateur rules. I, I love the amateur rules that we have for beginning amateurs, and I think what we really need is a third set of rules. We need the beginning amateur rules, no ground and pound, none of the, none of the kicks, and, and guys just get a bunch of experience. They get experience being walked in the cage in front of a thousand screen fans. So I think that's great. That's and, and, and then what I want Calgary to do is add a third level of rules. Um, like an experienced amateur level of rules. So we've got some ground and pound in there, we can do kicks to the head. Let's leave out the twisting leg locks and stuff like that, but make it more realistic for the fighters that are going to turn pro and have some sort of a threshold by which you know, you've got to be at least as good or have this many fights or something before you get to fight those rules. Um, so that's a really cool thing. I think um, in terms of what's happening in Calgary with hard knocks, I think. Um, We've got a guy from uh, Extreme Couture that's going to come up June 17th, okay. and, and it's going to be our first guy there. And so June, so you're projecting March, and are you going to take two months and then do June? Yeah, March 25th is our next one, and then the one after that's June 17th. Okay. And uh, we're already matching for that one. We've got some of our top guys uh, already lined up. It's going to be a great card. Uh, we've got some former MFC guys that are going to be on, okay. and we're going to have an Extreme Couture guy on. I think I think we're going to have a regular stream with the Supreme Court here, guys. Um, they're looking for a place to fight, and, and, and they've targeted us, which is a cool thing. So we're going to start it's getting relationships. It's a great relationship. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to get on uh, uh, live uh, internet stream pay per view for March 25. Okay. So that's a pretty big deal for us. You want to touch on that more? Is there is that something that's concrete, or have you solidified anything, or are you still kind of putting out feelers trying to get offers? No, I. I we, we've got a provider and, and, and it is lined up and with all technical stuff, I have no idea if it's actually going to work. I, I was watching one of the uh, Rumble in the Cage uh, live streams a couple months ago and they're having some trouble and just technical stuff. So I think, you know, we're all trying to work on that technical stuff and I, even UFC, yep. you know, I was watching the, the Facebook Facebook thing. Facebook. Yeah, you know, and, and it, they have a little issues every once in a while. So we're hoping we can do it without glitches. And that's another evolution, right? We're starting to see the progression of the sport so much. And uh, I know as a, as a fan, as a trainer, as a fighter, 
I appreciate the fact that we're able to develop the fighters now and really um, help the sport progress naturally. And we're seeing that a lot of these guys are now taking things a lot more seriously. Yeah. Uh, they're taking the strength and conditioning a lot more into, into, into consideration. Um, if you could, what would be the two, three things that we, you would really like to change with the, with the rules um, to, to, to better simulate the training uh, in cage experience for the amateur fighters in, in Calgary specifically because, because of the, the rules there? Okay, if I was going to change the amateur, I wouldn't change the beginning amateur rules. For the experienced amateurs, I would add the ground and pound. So more than five fights or more than three fights? I don't know what the answer is. And, and to be honest with you, I don't really want to be the one that dictates it. I think, sure. I think the, uh, the commissions and the coaches should be the ones that dictate it. Um, but you know what I do want to see? What I want the evolution of uh, MMA in Calgary and, and in Alberta to be? Everyone needs to be doing wrestling more. You need to understand wrestling more. Um, guys, even in the UFC, don't have a clue how to do a basic sprawl. And, and it's really separating men from boys in the UFC and in all of these shows. And I'd really like to raise the awareness of wrestling and the importance of some wrestling skills. And uh, if I had a, a, a mandate and a, and, and a wish list for 2011, it would be that uh, you know everyone around here don't work on striking, don't work on jits, work on your wrestling and how it combines with the striking and the jits. And one of the best bases to have in MMA is, is predominantly been wrestling, and it's been proven time and time again. It, it's just so clear to me. If we spent a year everyone working on wrestling, we'd be so much better off. If our level of wrestling in Alberta gets higher. We will be putting more and more guys on the strike force in the UFC, but until we do, we're gonna have a big problem because you know there's a gap in there's a gap in experience. There. Look, I mean, we saw Nick Ring on Saturday. Absolutely. And, and you know what? He can strike with them. First Calgary can, UFC fighter, right? He can strike with them. He can do jits with them, but he got destroyed in the wrestling section, and and it's a problem. And and I don't. There's a big hole in a lot of people's game right now. Big hole. Wrestling. And and he's what we consider to be a talented, skilled guy in Alberta. Right. And, and we need to develop the wrestling part of it. And I think if, if we as a community work more on it, um, guys like Nick Ring would be in the UFC and they'd be demolishing those guys. They'd be winning those matches clearly as opposed to getting taken down all the time. Well, speaking of Nick Ring, I can actually hear some of the action going on live outside. Them. I'm wondering maybe if Sheila Burns participating right now, so maybe we should step outside. And I just want to say thank you very much, Welcome. Ari. Um, I'm looking forward to the next event on March 25th. Beautiful. Uh, Hard Knocks Fighting Championship, March 25th in Calgary, Alberta. Uh, what, what's the venue? Century Casino. Come and support us. Thanks so much. MMA News Canada, Ari Toll, Carl Armstrong. Have a great day.